Hello and welcome to the VBA Jetpack course by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video we will learn how to customize the VB editor environment. So let's get started. Here I have the VB editor for the workbook book 1. It's a new workbook that I have opened. It has one sheet and I have inserted a module and within the module I have written this simple code. What it does is it goes to the cell A1 in this workbook in the in the active sheet and enters this text string hello now in this video we will learn how we can customize the environment in the code window the way we write the code the way it looks the options that we can use and to do that you can access all the options from the tool button here from in the menu and if you select options it opens the options dialog box it has four uh, tabs editor editor format general and docking and using these four tabs and the options below it you can customize a lot of things in the code window let's go through these options and I would highlight the important ones the first one is a within editor tab I have code settings and here it says auto syntax check now I have this checked let's let me show you what I mean by this let me close this suppose I remove uh, this round bracket from here so I would delete it and as soon as I click somewhere else it gives me this pop-up which says compile error expected list separator or a round bracket and it also highlights this text in a different color now if you do not want this pop-up if you think this is annoying you can make a setting where this pop-up would not appear but this text would still get highlighted in a different color so to do that let me first change this let me put that round bracket I would go to tools options and here I would uncheck auto syntax check and when I uncheck this and click OK let's see what happens I close this I remove the round bracket and I click somewhere else the line gets highlighted in a different color but there is no pop-up so if you are someone who has been doing VBA coding and you're okay with not showing a pop-up uh, in case of an error then you can use this setting let's go through other settings as well let me keep this checked uh, the other one is require variable declaration and this one is important because if you check this it would automatically insert option explicit at the top of the code in this module which means that now you would have to declare each and every variable you cannot go ahead without declaring a variable let's see how it works I press OK and now let me insert a new module here it would not impact the codes or the procedures that are already there but if you insert a new module you can see that it has this line option explicit as we saw in one of the previous videos you have to have this line if you want the user or the person who's writing the code to declare all the variables and it is important to declare variables because then it's easier to identify if there is say a spelling uh, issue in the variable and if I have named uh, the variable differently or if I'm not actually declared the variable then this is important so uh, if you are a newbie I would suggest you keep this checked I keep this unchecked but I in most cases type this manually myself auto list members mean that whenever you're writing a code then you might have seen an uh, an IntelliSense list here say for example if I go back to module 1 and if I delete this thing and if I'm writing the code and I put this period you see this IntelliSense list if you uncheck the option here you would not see the IntelliSense I keep this check because IntelliSense lists are really helpful and you get to see a lot of methods and properties in the IntelliSense list so I keep this check auto quick info means that when I'm writing a code here say I'm writing range and now when I start the bracket you see something like this this is quick information because it is telling me that within range it takes these arguments and it returns a range object this is important this is useful and I suggest you keep this option checked and auto data tips is when you have variables you can hover over those variables and it will show you uh, what variable value it is I suggest you keep this checked because this is sometimes really helpful when you have a lot of variables auto indent here is something which would automatically identify whether you have indented the code or not so let's see I indent this part here and I complete it I say a1 dot value is equal to hello now as soon as I press enter 
you can see that it starts from here and not from here because it has identified that there is already an indentation and now the code is a continuation of this indentation so it starts from here and you would see that when we create and we when we learn looping when we are learning about if then else statement and do while do until statements indentation is really important it increases the readability of your code so I suggest you keep this open uh, keep this option checked also you can use the tab key to indent so in this case if I want something to be indented twice then I would press tab twice I can again press tab to make it indent the third time and uh, if you want to go back or out dent it then you can use shift tab and it will come back so this is an important option that you can use let's go back to options again here in the window settings it says drag and drop text editing so for example if I have the text here I can select this and drag and drop anywhere else and that would work fine uh, it says default to full module view here in this case it means that if I have many procedures here then uh, it would not show it will show me all the procedures and there would be a scroll bar so when you start writing codes it may happen that you have more than one sub and in that case it will show you all the subs it's good to have this settings uh, setting checked and the last one is procedure separator which means that here if I start a new procedure say I start sub test 2 test 2 and I press enter let me oh my god I made a mistake here let me press enter you can see that there is a separator here which would visually tell me that this sub has ended and this is a second sub this is again really helpful because uh, it in big macros and big codes it might get difficult to identify where the separation actually happens so this is how you can use the editor tab now let's come to the editor format tab here you can change how your code your VBA looks in the first case here it says code colors and if you click on any of these text you would see the sample view here the normal text means this simple code and you can change the normal text here say for example I want to change the background color for normal text to green so this is how it would look let me press ok and as soon as I do this it looks like this obviously it looks really really bad but again this is an option if you want to do something like this then you can do it let me go back to editor format here and let me make this auto similarly if you go here selection text you can change how the selected text looks like so for example again if I make something make this red then if I select this text it would look red earlier it was blue so again these are different settings that you can play around with uh, I'm okay with the default settings in most of the cases and and to be honest I've never changed these so I really don't uh, think there's any point in changing it but in case you are working with people there may be cases where someone is say uh, colorblind then these uh, colors make sense you can also change the font here uh, by default it's courier new western make sure that you use a font which is fixed width font because in that case you would be able to identify spaces and other things uh, in my case I keep this uh, font but if you want you can play around and you can change these fonts let me go back to options again here uh, you can change the font size I'm okay with 10 but if you uh, don't want to stress uh, put a lot of strain on your eyes then you can increase the font you can have the margin indicator bar here which you see this is the margin indicator bar in uh, the code window this is the line if you remove this line everything is okay but when you are debugging the code we saw in one of the earlier videos there is a yellow arrow pointing towards the line that is faulty or there is a break point where there is a red circle and those part comes here so it's a good practice to keep this checked now let's go and see what general formatting has for us uh, in general option it is form grid settings now if you're using from form then these settings could be used in most of the cases uh, the default settings are just fine show tooltips is uh, the tooltip that you see when you hover your mouse over the icons here in the toolbar then you have the collapse project hides window again something that you probably don't need to know if you're not not very advanced into VBA and all these settings you if you want to read about it then you can click on help button and it would open the help menu in one of the uh, browsers it could be Internet Explorer Chrome Mozilla what's important here is error trapping and make sure you have break on unhandled errors which means that if you have an error in your code and if it is not handled which means that you have not already accounted for what happens when error occurs then it would break on that line and this is important I, I suggest you keep this uh, option checked
and the final option here is docking here you can decide whether you want these uh, windows to be dockable or not I keep these windows dockable because uh, I may move it around and I may want to put uh, the project explorer here and maybe the properties window here but again this is something of a personal preference if you want you can keep it if you don't want you don't want to keep it uh, there are certain windows here if you see immediate window locals window watch window we would see we would see what these windows are and how to work with these when we actually get into code and learn about referencing cells or ranges or worksheets or workbooks so uh, these are the options that you can use again if you are stuck with any of the option you don't know what it does simply go to the help menu and you would you can read about all these options so this is how you can customize the VB environment and how it looks uh, I hope you found this video useful thank you and have a nice day